Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Galaxy A32. After one full year, this device has finally gotten a huge major update that I'm going to talk about in this video. And this device has been um, guaranteed at least two software upgrades. So after one full year of using this device, it's been on Android 11. And now we're going to be getting Android 12, right? So just keep in mind, this is the first software update. We're going to get Android 12. Then there's going to be one more update, major update for this device after this year. The next year is going to get Android 13 or maybe even sooner than that. Right. But um, Android 13 isn't officially released yet. But so this device is getting officially the Android 12 One UI 4.1. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I have my Galaxy A32 4G LTE right here. We're gonna go and update the software and kind of like do that together. So hopefully like there's some really good features about the software on this device because uh, the A32 has been pretty solid. I'm gonna hook it up to a charger because I see it's at 30%. And as you can see right here, the battery is a little bit low. Sometimes it doesn't let you do the software update unless the battery is at a certain level. So I can see right here that it does say software update, download and install. Right here, you just wanna go into your settings and click software update information. And then right here, you're gonna see that it is paused at the One UI 4.1 upgrade for the Android 12. And it says One UI brings you a wide array of new features and enhancements of your Galaxy devices, more intuitive, more fun, more secure and easier than ever check out the changes below it gives you the updated color palette on the um the wallpaper of your choice your colors will be applied to menus buttons backgrounds and apps through your phone privacy will be improved overall a stronger privacy protection you will get and, and you know i'm saying permissions info at a glance camera and microphone indicators will be shown with that green light up top when you're ever you're taking a photo or something that's going to let you know that the microphone and camera is on approximate location clipboard protection keyboard uh, is going to be updated so you get quick gifs and stickers animated emoji pairs you get those two emojis next to each other all right and then it says writing assistant keep your grammar and spelling on point with the writing assistant powered by grammarly that's kind of cool that's kind of sick to see then they have more widely available keyboard options with um, inputs and layouts and features for specific languages now available in different regions. Home screen is going to be updated where you have your favorite apps and features that you could just tap away at. It helps you to keep your home screen looking at its best all the time. New widget design, new um, easier widget selection, lock screen. You can actually go to the, it says right here, use widgets to handle quick tasks without unlocking your device, whether it's controlling your music, checking your schedule, or capturing your best ideas and then right here you can see it says listen where you want switch audio from your earbuds to your speakers from your phone from the lock screen voice recording you you get um you can actually record a voice memo without unlocking your device right so those widget those lock screen widgets are going to be pretty clutch and then well, we're not even we have a lot of information here to talk about look I'm not even finished halfway through what the One UI is 4.1 is giving us, right? So there's just gonna be a ton of stuff here that way too much to talk about. But look, you can see right here, it does, I'll, I'll, I'll carry on for a little bit. So you do get lens and zoom. So lens icons show magnification levels so you know how much you're zoomed in. Uh, you never miss a moment with the, the recording starts immediately after you tap the record button instead of when you release it so that when you catch preci precious moments before they're gone in a photo mode. So it's gonna be a lot quicker with the shutter. Instead of holding it, you could just tap it. Pro photography, portraits for pets. So you can get pets inside of your portraits as well. The gallery option will allow you to get thousands of pictures and videos that um, will let you capture, you know, uh, you know, enhanced stories, easier albums, um, photo editor, video collages, uh, a lot of stuff here. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling down here so you can see everything, but pause the video if you see something that you really want to you know um hold on to and, and kind of read for yourself just pause the video at any point in time but you can see everything that's being updated here it's pretty crazy it's it's a long list of uh it's a laundry list of things here so i'm just going to scroll down through the rest of it so you can see you get a better always on display 
never miss a notification and now you can set always on display so whenever you get a notification new animated stickers are available to keep your display looking fresh enhanced dark mode to keep your um, comfortable and keep your keep you comfortable in dark mode now dark mode automatically dims wallpapers and icons charging info at a glance easier brightness controls so i'm just going to keep scrolling just pause the video at any point in time so you could read over some of this information but i'm going to hit download now and it's going to say that you know it's going to start downloading that was a long list of things for the this upgrade obviously it's going to be an extremely important upgrade for samsung users who are who have the samsung galaxy a32 right but this is going to be a huge update and um i'm showing you guys this live so that you can pick it up download it and just kind of upgrade your phone as you see me kind of guiding you through it but you can see there's just so many different things that this is going to include what i really like about this device so far is the 90 hertz refresh rate i like the process and chip in here because it's got like a gaming level um, speed it also does have some pretty decent um, performance out of this thing and right now when i'm on the device i'm just going to show you some of the information about it so if i go to about phone and go to software info right here you can see we're on android 11 3.1 uh, uh as of right now with the uh with the software at february 1st so it's a little bit backed up right now when it comes to updates but you can see everything for the one ui 3.1 was pretty cool we we got that like that's we do get this sidebar which doesn't seem to always work when i need it to so that's the only thing that's kind of annoying sometimes i just turn that off but you can see right here you do have a bunch of features you don't have samsung decks on here so i just want to mention that you won't have samsung decks on here uh and that's something that i just want to throw out there because a lot of people like that feature but you have a ton of features that you could actually use on this device link to windows continue apps on other devices and call on other devices quick share side key you get that uh, side navigation bar thing that uh, a lot of people like to play around with with this phone it doesn't it doesn't um how do i say this it doesn't it doesn't play nice you know what i'm saying so you could turn that off or on the edge panel right here and you can go in and you can customize it right here but if i try to like move it across the screen it doesn't it doesn't play nice it's not you know what i'm saying it's like really maybe the update will fix that but you can see right here it does give you different options so you can always put this thing where you want it to be you could you could drag it up you could drag it down you could lock the position you could change the color right there so you could see it better uh black you could keep it transparent or not. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of things that they do offer here to customize that thing. But uh, sometimes it just does not play nice. See, like I'm, I'm swiping on it right now. And maybe it maybe it's the case. That's not the case. Had, oh, there we go. So we, we can get to it. I like how you can drag here and kind of like you could you could drag right there and immediately set up your one handed operation mode on here, which is a really cool feature to have. So I, I just like that part about it. So really cool tool to use if you're 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 the type of person who likes to definitely uh, use a lot of things on your device now. A lot of things that people let talk to ask me about is the they have the secure folder in this device, right? But with my A13, I noticed that someone asked me, um, where do you find the secure folder in the A13? And I noticed that the A13 doesn't have a secure folder inside of the security. Uh, it only has that private share feature. So if you go to security right here, you're going to see private share, but you're not going to see secure folder and you're not going to see Samsung pass as well so there's some features that they do take away when you're talking about their when the price ranges of their a series phones so i just want to throw that out there but let me wait for this um update to finish and i'll get right back with you all right so literally a second after i paused the video it actually finished downloading so i'm going to actually go ahead and hit install now but let me just scroll through here one more time so you can actually zoom in on your display or just kind of read through everything in the change log. I'll start from the top down. So we'll do a, 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 a scrolling here. Pause the video if you want to read over anything here. And um, let me just look at the phone. There's no glare on there, so you could actually read that. 
phone screen, lock screen, camera, um, you know, gallery updates. I'm, I'm probably going a lot really fast because I have to get through this, but there's just a lot to get through the calendar, the internet, the device care, Bixby routines, accessibility features enhanced, uh, more features and improvements, etc., etc. Let's go ahead and hit install now. I'm going to wait for the device to actually reboot. And um, yeah, I've been using this device for a full year now. And I, I really like that this display. It's an AMOLED display, so it gets extremely bright. The blacks on here look really good. The cameras are actually really good as well. I might have to do like a camera test dedicated after this update because it might enhance a lot of what this phone does. Like obviously you can now do portraits with pets now. So I could take, they can recognize uh, pets faces and stuff like that now so that's going to be pretty solid it's also going to be having a ton of other features that we're just going to have to dive into but make sure if you're still here you just type down below i'm still here so i know you're still rocking with me um in the comment section leave a comment down below hashtag crew so i know that um you know what i mean you're, you're you're chilling right now kicking it with me but you can see right here it's at 46 percent and so the samsung galaxy a32 is now going to be updated to the android 12 which is going to be pretty exciting so let's just pause the video it says it's at 60 percent now but i don't want you guys to wait any longer all right guys so this process took pretty much let about a half of an hour my phone is fully updated it says that i have to enter my pattern in order to up unlock my device now so let's go ahead and take a look at the 4.1 android uh 12 uh 12 officially right here on the a32 and right now you can see right here swiping down it's finishing up the system upgrade right here for the android 12 4.1 so let's just wait for that to finish right so right we're gonna go into settings okay and everything looks pretty much the same way it did before it has a nice uh so still has really good scrolling on here going down to about information and hitting software information we're now upgraded to the one ui version 4.1 android 12 it says it's updated here at the bottom of the phone now so i'll hit okay and then at all the way at the bottom it does say it's on an april 1st security patch as of right now so that's pretty cool uh like I said, there's gonna all the features that I read in the beginning of the video are gonna be updated on here. Let's open up the camera real quick, see if there's any um, speed uh, enhancements. It opened up pretty quick. I can see that camera option now is green, so it's showing that the camera is actually being used with that little green icon. Let's take a, a quick uh, portrait of this guy, see how the shutter is when it comes to the shutter speeds and focusing in i put it on a strength of four and hit the snapshot button and let's go ahead and like take a look at this photo real quick and overall shutter speeds did seem pretty cool loading speeds after that rendering was pretty decent uh you know they do have pro mode for photography on here but not video if you go to more you're going to see your slow motion food panorama night and macro as well uh video modes on the front are going to be up to full hd 30 but if you flip it around for the video on the rear it's still going to be uh that you know you know that same thing on the front so you know the front the, the rear is for hd full hd 30 and then on the front it's full hd 30 so no 4k on this device but wow that looks really clear when i'm looking at it just looking at my face through the viewfinder let's take a quick uh portrait shot right here and the shutter speed seems to be pretty decent. It, the rendering and everything when it's after it takes the photo post looks really good. A little bit of blurring on my headphone right there, but nothing that's gonna make me go crazy or anything because you know it's pretty decent and it's low light. So really good for the camera updates, improvements, and everything like that. Speeds feel really good on here. It says that there's gonna be like a new widget system. Let's check out the widget system okay so it's now it's like this where you can see you have these shortcuts at the top that they automatically recommend for you and then when you scroll down you get more widgets here for your buds for your magnifier for your apps and mostly stuff of that nature so everything is going to be here your weather app from samsung is going to be here so you have a few here that you can mess around with so the web the widgets 
uh, overall layout has been changed and improved. The, the, they also did increase like uh, the, the the wallpapers feature for the color tablet tal palette. I said tablet, and you can see right here. All right. So a lot of cool features with this update. I'm not really feeling that pink color, but this one looks okay. Let's hit that. And so, like I said, you're gonna get some really cool features when it comes to this overall guy. You can see that they put the dark mode there for a second and though you get your media controls, your device controls, it did change my um, backdrop colors right here, as you can see as well to that tangerine, um, tutti fruity color that's what it kind of reminds me of the brightness is all the way um, almost all the way up let's turn that all the way up so yeah this is a uh, very cool i really like this part about it let me know if you guys got your upgraded um it's uh, uh, samsung galaxy a13 i'm sorry not 13 a32 update for the android 12 4.1 but now it's actually running on the same software that the A13 is running on. So that's kind of crazy. But I'm going to get right back with you guys. Thank you for staying locked into the end of the video. But make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending on where you are, have a great night. Later, crew. Peace.